So today's the first of a new series I'm doing called Guitar Stories. Essentially, I'm going to take a guitar that to me is iconic and has inspired me over the years, and I'm going to go over the guitar, its history, and some kind of frequently asked questions or common things people might not understand about the guitar. And I'm going to go over it in a whole episode dedicated to this instrument. So for today's kind of inaugural episode of the series, I thought it'd be really awesome to go over John Frusciante's 1962 Strat. Let's get into it. So our story begins actually in the 1990s for the Stratocaster. In the mid-1990s, John Frusciante found his sobriety, and he also found himself without any guitars. A lot had been either sold or unfortunately lost in a devastating house fire where John Frusciante essentially lost all of his gear in. In 1997, shortly after this house fire, he realized he didn't own a single guitar to his name. So he went out and bought a really beat up 1962 Jaguar. And that's guitar maybe for another day. But essentially this guitar was relatively unplayable and not really fit for a touring musician. Now this brings us on to 1998 when John Frusciante was asked to rejoin the Red Hot Chili Peppers. And of course he said yes, but in saying yes, he realized that he didn't have a guitar fit to use with the band for recording and for live touring. He needed a Stratocaster, not some kind of old beat up Jaguar that wasn't going to do. So he told the band, listen, I need a Strat if we're gonna make this work. Anthony Kiedis being essentially a brother to John, took him to Guitar Center, and I'm assuming Guitar Center in Hollywood is the one they are talking about, and told him to pick out any guitar he liked on Anthony's dollar. And I'm sure at this time, John didn't realize that the guitar he'd eventually decide on and walk out with would be just so iconic and so heavily associated with him and the band. And of course, the guitar that he bought is a 1962 Stratocaster. Now I've done my best here to do a deep dive to try and show you guys some pictures of John using that guitar right when he got it. And these are from 1999 and are not only some of the first shows of John using that guitar with the Chili Peppers, but also just some of the earliest shows of, with John being back in the band as a whole. Now throughout the years, it has been documented that there were some modifications that they eventually did to the guitar in order to make it kind of the version of it that we know today. Number one being that the tuners were actually replaced with Cluson tuners and as well as shallower strap locks were added to the guitar. But I'm sure if you're a fan of John Frusciante, you know what I'm going to talk about next, and that's the pickups being the hottest debate around the modifications to this guitar. So let's get into the pickups in John's 1962 Strat and why it's kind of such a hot debate, especially among Chili Peppers and John Frusciante fans. In 2009, in an interview with Vintage Guitar Magazine, John Frusciante said that he had installed some Seymour Duncan SSL1s into the guitar. They were pickups he was kind of familiar with, with another vintage instrument. Again, a story for another day, but essentially he ended up liking them and they threw them in that guitar. Now that seems fairly straightforward. You hear from John Frusciante right from the horse's mouth that those are the pickups in his Stratocaster. Well, in 2016, in an interview with JFFX, David Lee, who is John Frusciante's guitar tech, came out and actually said, no, John's wrong, he's mistaken. Those aren't the pickups that we actually went with in his 1962 Strat. Now what is really weird about this is that according to David, the pickups that they went with were your standard run-of-the-mill American spec USA Strat pickups. The ones that went in just your standard USA Strat at the time. Now, I'm not sure what you believe. I'm honestly not really sure what I believe. John Frusciante says they are Seymour Duncan SSL1s inside. David Lee says they're just regular Fender American modern pickups in the Stratocaster. And this is a really weird scenario where you have the guy playing the guitar and the guy who's been working on it for almost 10 years debating on what pickups in the guitar. And it's a really weird scenario. Leave a comment down below who you believe what pickups you think are in that guitar. We know that they aren't stock. Both people have confirmed, both sides of the story confirm that they're not stock, whatever they are. Are they SSL1s or are they regular Fender American pickups? I don't know, and we honestly might not ever know, unless maybe in the future going forward with John Frusciante's tour with Red Hot Chili Peppers coming up, maybe his tech might get asked and might reveal, oh yeah, I looked under the hood, and that's what these are. Now, of course, a guitar like this that is so synonymous with John Frusciante and the Red Hot Chili Peppers, you have a ton of iconic performances that it's been featured in. 
you have Slain Castle, you have Live Earth, and you have, of course, the Black Summer music video now this year in 2022. And looking at Black Summer in the music video now, you can actually get a really good view of the wear that has happened on this guitar since John Frusciante has owned it over the years. Of course, it didn't come to him in pristine condition, but he has definitely put the wear and the hours on this guitar where you can see his mark has certainly been left on the instrument. Speaking of Unlimited Love, I am sure this guitar is featured all over it. It's John's main strat. Of course, it's going to be featured all over this album. But what kind of gets a bit, bit weird is that Black Summer is an E flat, and this guitar has always lived in standard tuning. So for the upcoming tour, I don't actually think this guitar is what Black Summer is going to be performed on. I think the bulk Strat songs are going to be played on this guitar in standard tuning like they always have, then something else is going to have to come out that's been set up in E flat for John to use for Black Summer. Now we're going to see that hopefully very soon, but that's just my speculation and honestly I think is a pretty accurate guess at what is going to happen. Stadium Arcadium to me is my favorite Red Hot Chili Peppers album. It features some of my favorite work by John, the guitar parts, the tones, and overall it's just an album that I could listen to front to back over and over again. It's one of my favorite albums, honestly, of, of all time. And the 1962 Strat was John's main guitar, especially for that record. And that's part of the reason why, for me, this guitar, I just have a very fond memory of listening to this album when I was younger. And this is the guitar that is so iconic with a lot of those sounds that helped get me into playing the guitar. A lot of that has to do with John Frusciante and this 1962 Stratocaster. So for me, this guitar will always be iconic. Seeing John shortly after he joined the Red Hot Chili Peppers, that one concert they played outside with Dave Navarro being there, that whole thing, seeing that guitar featured on stage again, and then of course with Black Summer, was just an amazing feeling to see that guitar and John back with the band. It was huge, and it's a moment I don't think I'm ever going to forget. And that, you guys, is this episode of Guitar Stories. Please leave a comment down below if you have another guitar that you want me to go over and discuss in this format. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching.